Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you uh, some great features in Microsoft Excel. This came up when I was doing some training with some nursing informatics up at Gwinnett Medical Center. A great group. They immediately took what I taught them in class and started applying it to their Excel files. So I'm going to see if I can't get through this entire list in five minutes. So here we go. And by the way, whether you're in the healthcare profession or not, you need to know this entire list right here if you want to master Excel. So here we go. We have a nursing manager who's in charge of people working from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. You don't have to put this here, but she knew this. X means they're working. Blank is off. And if she wanted to, she could put it in the letter V for vacation requests. We're trying to figure out the schedule for January 1st, 2018. And you know I could sit here and autofill that to the right, but here's a cool trick. Home tab. Over here is fill. Fill series. Do you want to fill across the row or down the column? I want to go across the row. Date. Where do you want to stop? January 31st, 2018. Hit OK. Once again, I could have easily filled that over, but that fill feature sometimes is great when you have to fill 50,000 items in. You don't want to autofill that down. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select these dates and I'm going to go to Format Cells. I need to actually see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in here because that tells me a lot of people won't request Monday off. So I'm going to do, notice my sample, D, 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 three D's gives me Monday, space bar, a couple M's, a dash, and a couple D's. I know it's 2018 schedule, so I'm not going to do the year. That's perfect. Hit OK. There we go. And then once again, I've already put in these X's and left some blank as just a sample. But now I want to know how many people are scheduled to work on Monday, January 1. I'm going to go to cell B15. And here's where we use relative reference. It's going to be count if, one of my favorite functions in Excel. And I'm going to highlight this range, comma, and my criteria is the letter X, which is over in A15. Look up in the formula bar above column D and you'll see that. But here's the issue. When I pull this to the right, I'm going to stop right there. It's no longer correct. You can see it's C4 to C12, and then it's B15, and then C15. And then also, if I pull it down to get the Vs, it went to B5 when it needs to be B4. So here's why you need to know how to do mixed reference. I'm back in here. I'm going to go up to the formula bar. I'm going to do the F4 function key twice, twice. That is saying freeze row 4 through row 12, but the column can change. Now over here, the X is an A15. There's a mixed reference. I'm saying freeze column A, let the row change. So we have three mixed references in here. Let's see it work. Let me just pull it over twice. 6, 7, and 7. Perfect. Pull it down once. That's actually correct because I don't have any V's up here. So let me put a V here and a V here and a, one more V. And it's working. I'm going to undo that. One, two, three. And for not scheduled, that is a blank. So that's going to be count blank. That's the range. Um, that'll work three because that one's three two perfect it's working let's test it i'm gonna delete all these so they're all blank it's working okay undo so now that these are correct i'm gonna just autofill them all the way to the right to the 31st of january so i have my schedule done don't worry about that color that just appeared act like it did not show up there you go Here's why. Also told you, here's my list again of what we're covering. I just filled the series. We did a custom format. I just did relative mixed, and I haven't done absolute reference yet, but I'll come there. Named range, let me do that real quick. I want to highlight this range right here. 
and I'm going to name it DOW, which I've already done. So that is called the day a week, DOW. So now when I need to get to there again, instead of me having to do this, I just click and hit DOW and it selects it all because I can go back to format cells and change it. So that's a named range right there. Let's get to that conditional formatting. Okay, so the nursing manager who's scheduling this, this is her schedule for her employees. She says, I never need more than, than um, I'm making this up. I don't need more than eight people working on a shift or more than seven. So highlight this range because X is people that are working. Conditional formatting anything greater than seven hit okay and now she can quickly see oh i need to schedule some people off so mark is going to be off and so is tammy and we're down to seven one more time let's give mary a day off now down to seven again and i'm not and i'm gonna stop right there you see what i'm doing and one more feature i suggested is type in total in auto sum because you have right here nine employees. It says it here in your status bar. So I better always end up with the number nine since I'm accounting for working, vacation, and blanks, which is off. And it is working. Good. And one last thing you could do is if you want to know how many people, I'm going to copy this. I know it's only two. But I'm going to right click and I'm going to transpose. It went from running up and down column A to running across row 21. I would copy my employees. Paste. Hey, sorry about the little break. I had a small technical glitch. But to finish, finish up this exercise, um, I wanted to take my employees up here. I'm looking at the month of January 2018. And I wanted to figure out, as a check figure, how many days they're working, which is the X, how many days they've requested a vacation day, and how many days they're just scheduled off. And they should all equal 31. So I'm going to show you these functions real quick, or formulas. There is count if, and once again, there's relative reference in use. Count if, there's the blank. And then it's just the auto sum, which is, that truly is relative reference right there. So mix reference, mix reference, mix reference, mix. So you can see that you need to know mix reference if you want to quickly work in Excel. There is a relative reference, relative reference. Anyway, uh, the last thing I didn't do is if I scroll to the right, if you notice the names of the nurses disappear. If I scroll down, I don't know what I'm looking at. So you want to click in B4, go to the View tab, Freeze Panes, and Freeze Panes. I've got a line between A and B, and I've got a line between 3 and 4. I scroll to the right. I always know what I'm looking at, the names of the employees. I scroll down, and I know the day of the month. Anyway... I don't know if I got that in within five minutes, but it's pretty close. But obviously, I don't go this fast when I'm teaching, but I just want to show you why you need Microsoft Excel training. I appreciate your time. Thank you.